Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? We're going to make a yo-yo. Oh, my gosh, I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Today, we're actually going to make a yo-yo. Oh, my goodness, that's cray-cray. <laughs> so, how is everybody doing today? Here in Wisconsin, it is a very cold, windy, rainy morning, and it's going to rain all day. So, you know what that means? I get to tinker all day. Oh, my gosh, we could do multiple videos, guys. Um, actually, we're going to start a big project probably later today. Um, but first, we're going to do an easy project, maybe. We're going to actually make a yo-yo. But first, my announcement. If anybody wants to become a channel member, click the join button. It's right next to the subscribe button. And you can download any of the models you see on this channel and print them right at home. And there's exclusive videos for members only. It's super great and grand. Okay, guys, jump in. Let's grab a cone. Let's talk about how we're going to make our yo-yo work and the problems we have to overcome, which I don't really know because we just jump in and do it, guys. So the main thing that I started to think about, um, well, let's do a visualizing experiment here. Um, boop. Let's make this bigger, this cone. Um, let's say we're going to do one of them butterfly yo-yos. Uh, I think that's, I mean, that's what I call them. Like the Duncan butterfly. This is just for visualizing. So there we go. Done. Um, wow. Actually, I mean, in a way, that's all we really have to do. Okay. Let's do this. You know, what's funny for like an experiment one. We could, we could literally do it this um, let's do three millimeter gap. Um, here, watch this. Group these two purples. And we should be able to center this right in the middle then. So hit a line. And then we hit this dot. See? Beep. There. Now we can cut a hole right through there. This was supposed to be just a visualized example, not the real one. Okay. Let's go ahead and group it. Okay, so there's the slot for the string. Um, let me check my caliper and see if... Oh my gosh, I gotta put my glasses on. Why am I so old? Let's see if three is enough for a string. Um, I'm looking at my caliper here, guys. I mean, I yeah, I guess it is. I guess let's try three. That's fine. Um, okay. But here is the problem. Wait, how wide is this? Yeah, three inches? I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, so the problem is, if we make the little center post, you know, where the string wraps around, we can't make that out of 3D printed plastic because it's heat. It's not only very rough and abrasive, but it's heat sensitive, so the string would cause friction when it's spinning because I like to have it, you know, free spinning like a real yo-yo. You know, when it goes all the way down... It could just be going and like spit it really fast, you know, because uh, we're going to try this thing out. So we need a different material on the inside for the post. Like shiny metal would probably be the best. But I wanted to think of something that everybody probably has laying around. So we're going to try a Bic pen. So I have like one of them standard gray Bic pens. Uh, and it is eight by eight. So let's let's make a little model of it. Is it going to look tiny? So, yeah, we have a big pen like this. Let me make it gray so it really... There, it looks like this. <clears throat> so, honestly, what we're going to do is we're going to make a hole all the way through like this. And then, see, we can just align it this way and this way. And basically, we're going to stick a big pen through all the way. Okay? And see, then a big pen's really smooth. Is this... I just moved it, didn't I? Wait. Yeah, I moved it. Okay, slide this up to make it smoother. Um, okay. So there we go. And we're going to just turn it into a hole. I was trying to think about what size... Like, 
if we cut the hole the exact size of the pen, it's going to go in really hard. Like, really hard. But maybe that's good. Or we could have it go in a little easier, but glue it in. Maybe I'd rather do that. Let's make it 0.2 bigger. So let's go 8.2, or so that could be too big. Let me think. 0.2. How about 8? Yeah, 8.2. Let's see how much bigger it gets. Not much. Yeah, let's go 8.2, guys. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. And doop, and doop. We got a rain day. It's like a snow day, but a rain day. That's cool. Okay. Um, I just had a... I just had a, a, a moment of weakness. I just realized, like, we can't... We're not going to be printing it like this. So I shouldn't have really grouped it like this, but that's okay. I have a, I have a fix. This will help us visualize it, because this is basically... Basically, uh, the completed yoage. I mean, it's we got to make it fancy, a little bit fancier. We don't need it quite so solid, even though that might be okay. Um, is it too... I think we need to squat it down a little bit, for one thing. So let's um, ungroup it twice, actually. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think we need to squat it down. Visualizing. We got to make sure to make that center thing. See, we're smashing that center part. There. That's more yoage. That's more yo yoification. Okay, let's hit this and go back to three. That must be what we were at, right? What happened? What? Come on. What? It's being weird. Three. Yeah, that's what I said. Please, sir, I'll cooperate. Wow, yeah, it wasn't really working. Not my fault. Okay, align it again uh, this direction. Okay, now we can group it to have a lo another look at it here. So see, it's good that we're building it all as one. Hit D to drop it. Boop. Okay, so see, yeah, we just have a... Why'd that look weird in the middle? Oh, okay. Yeah, we just have a hole all the way through for the pen. Oh, duh. See, we're going to be adjusting this gap on our own by how far we slide it onto the pen. So we don't care about this gap, because watch... We're actually going to, we just need to print two of the sides the same. So honestly, we, we're going to be going like this, guys. We actually have to cut off this. Um, we're going to cut off this top part. See? Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, group. Wow, don't look at me. Do not look at me. Okay, start that over. Okay, group. So, because, see, we're just going to, we're just going to print two of these, you know what I'm saying? So, we're just going to go boop and boop, you know, like that. But let's first fix this one up a little bit before we duplicate it. Um, and then we're done, guys. Let's, yeah, let's do some fixing. Okay, um... This we want smooth, so let's not touch that. Let's add a little bit. Let's add a little bit something on this inside, or it's going to be a little boring, you know. Um, what should we do? Uh, there'd be less air disturbance if we did some like circular cuts into it. Uh, would be better than like fins. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like this. Oh, boop. Okay, we'll align this. I'm just going to make a couple cuts or something. 
What should I do? Okay, that did not align. Okay, uh, but here, let's go like this. Before I make a cut, let's make this into kind of like a, a ring. So let's duplicate it, raise it up, turn it into a hole, hold Control, Shift, and Alt, because that will leave it centered, see? That's my favorite button combo, Control, Shift, Alt. See, it leaves it centered while you're scaling it. So see, we could do something like this, and that means we can cut this into a nice ring that we like. Then let's drop it down a little bit. One, two, three. Um, and then, what else should we do? Should we, well, let's turn it into a hole. We could maybe, you know what? Let's make the outer one kind of bigger, like this. It's not sticking through, is it? Here, let's quick see how close we are to this edge. Hit T for transparent. Um... Eh, it's okay. Okay, now let's duplicate this one. Duplicate. And let's shrink it. Is this... Will this make it cooler? I don't know. Uh, let's see what it looks like. So I just kept hitting duplicate, so it uh, continued the same action. So now let's group it. Uh, pretty cool, like way better than, way better than blank. And see, when they're circles like this, they're going to be spinning, so that won't screw up the airflow much. A little bit, because there's extra surface area. But we're not trying to, like, break a record for how, um, how long we can spin a yo-yo. Honestly, what else could we do? Let me think if there's... Should we should we take a look at honestly maybe we should just chill. How about let's get rid of this little edge, okay? So what we should do here, let's ungroup this quick. Yeah, ungroup. Let's get rid of this little edge. You know what? I'm a little scared that that was kind of thin. So let's let's shrink these all down a tiny bit. Control Alt Shift. Okay, let's do that. Now let's grab let's grab another ring. So let's let's duplicate this. Once again, Control Alt Shift, and we're gonna make it big. Okay, like uh, yeah, about like that. And now all we have to do is drop it down a little bit. Cause see, we're gonna cut that. We're gonna cut a flat edge on that. That's gonna print so much better. Yeah. Okay, let's group it. I think we're done. Wow, this was easy, if it works. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Like, you know, nothing fancy. This is just to test it. And we could print it just like this. We just need two of them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you... um, I feel like it'd be really cool with some cool filament. Hey, well, I mean, I still have that um, that glacier filament. That Zero, Zero brand Glacier filament. So I guess we'll just use that because it's already in the printer. So, and one last thing. Should I print it? I think I have, I'm going to have to print it completely solid. Because it's the weight of the yo-yo that keeps it spinning, you know? Yeah, we're just going to print it solid. All right, guys. Let's send it to the printer. Hey! My phone was supposed to be on silence. Oh, it was just Elon. All right, there we go, guys. Easy as that. Here, let's pop these off. Holy, wow, look at how cool that transition looks. Wow, that is heavy. That is 100% infill. Oh my gosh, these look beautiful, actually. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Holy cow, I hope that's not too heavy. 
Holy cow, this is a heavy yo-yo. Okay, let's see how our uh, how we did with our pen fit. What would be the best way to put this in? Oh god, that part is gonna be tight. Okay, it's fitting. Oh my gosh, I got it in like halfway through. Or wait, almost all the way through. I just have to open this up a little, um, you know, where it touched the print bed. It was a little um, narrower. Oh my gosh, I think it's stuck. Okay, I'll be right back. Holy cow. This is actually awesome. We kind of nailed it with that uh, point two. We made the whole point two bigger for the pen. It fits really good, actually. Um, I had a kind of, you know, I had a pressure down there. But see, I can spin these. So I probably should add a little dab of glue, but I think we could test it without it. Um, the problem is I got to find the right size string. I don't think I, I might not have quite the right string, but I'll try to find something and then we could test this baby out. Wow, this is definitely the heaviest yo-yo I think I've ever felt. <laughs> um, maybe I should glue these in. Maybe I'll do that while I look for a string. Okay, let's take this into a bigger space. I wish it was nice outside. Uh, cause we gotta test this out. Alrighty, here we go, guys. This is the biggest open space I could find. We got, we're in the other room where I got a couple more printers set up. Uh, you can see my, some of my spools. This is just some of them. Alright guys, here we go. So, I found some regular yarn. Um, so hopefully it'll be strong enough. But it winds on there good. Um, it still feels kinda heavy, so let's start slow here. If it goes flying, at least we'll have it on film. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, it worked. Oh, it's kind of like out of balance. Hey, it works. Wow, this is cool. There, look. Oh, crap. Uh, it will pause at the bottom if I can uh, do it right here. Let's see. Oh, gosh, hold on. I'm, old, I'm rusty. I'm not a good yo-yoer. Well, that one time it stopped at the bottom. Can you guys see? Oh gosh, it's a little, it's a little like, here, what what can you guys see? It's a little vibrating, like it's going like this. I think it's because we have a lot of weight in the center. We should almost make hollow cavities toward this center part and have the weight be out here on these edges, don't you think? Because see, when it goes down, I'm not sure if you guys can see the vibration. Um, oh, there it almost stopped. Let me see if I can get it to stop at the bottom. Maybe I tied it a little too tight, like I tied the loop onto the string. Hey, the best part is, is it's working. Okay, let me try it. I can't get it to stop at the bottom. Come on, there. Hey, it stopped for a second. Dude, this is cool. Um, here, can I try something else? I'm not very good. Should I try the around the world? Hey, I did it. Kind of. One more time. How did I do that? Oh my gosh, that was a little bit fail. Okay, guys, it works. It needs a little bit fine tuning. And it made me think of another type of yo-yo that we can make. A Diablo. Have you guys ever heard of a Diablo? Oh, it's super cool. I'm better at that, actually. Um, it's not attached to the string. Oh, we should make one sometime. I kind of want to keep playing with this. I think we would have to make some adjustments um, to get this balance better. And I think I need to tie the loop a little looser because it's not... I can't get it to pause at the bottom very easy. There. <laughs> Only when it was going slow. Judo! It's pretty awesome, actually. It works great. It's just a little out of balance, like it vibrates. Wow, that's still cool. There we go, guys, successful yo-age. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.